What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Hella Faded here with another first impressions video of a game that I have actually tried before, but I'm currently playing it on the PC. I have given this game a shot. I believe I want to say it was on my PS4 or my buddy's PS4. I don't currently own a PS4. Um, I'm not sure if they have it for the PS3, but I know that it was in open beta for the PS4. And me and my buddy went on there and gave it a shot. It was a lot of fun. It's a different play style when it comes to the way, you know, most first-person shooters are done. Um, and I thought that I would go ahead and give it a shot on PC. Now, I'm not much of a first-person shooter on PC. I never really was able to get too much into it. For me, all first-person shooter was all console. So, we're going to do this together. <laughs> Um, so I have never logged into the game at all yet, so you guys are going to experience this with me at all times. So let's go ahead and log in here, because we want to get started. Alright, logging in. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so we have to register our agent. We have male or female, clearly we want to be male. And we're going to name ourselves Hella Faded, if allowed. Name available. Awesome. Uh, would you like to proceed to training? If not, this menu can be accessed later. Um, do we want to go to training? Nah. Nah. Training is for noobs. Oh, wait. You have new items. All right. Submachine gun, uh, combat rifle, Frontier x Light, which is a scope, urban digital and armor camo, and then clap, which is a stationary emote. Okay. Alrighty then. So we have a couple of different things. We have customization, which does this allow you? All right, so this allows you to customize, I guess, your what? Hero? Oh, here we go. So it allows you to like customize, I guess, what your dude looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. They have, I guess, different. Oh, they got some badass. I've always been like one for like big dudes, man. Big dudes were always. Oh, but you have to pay for them. Um, uh, I don't know why I didn't know that. I kind of knew that. But anyway, um, we want to use the custom character, which is just going to be the starter guy because that's just what we have. So, <laughs> whatever. All right, equipment, armor. Oh, okay, so you can buy, like, different armors and stuff like that. Oh, and, and oh, okay, cool, cool. So they have, like... The customization on this thing is amazing. Pre-made. Um, so they have things that are already pre-made. Or you can customize it however you want. All to which you can clearly buy things for a certain amount of time. Or if you spend a crap ton of GP, you can get it permanently. So I feel like this game requires a lot of dedication if you don't want to spend money. But the cool thing is, is that other than certain things, it seems for Hero... You're able to pretty yeah. Other than hero or under the, other than like these guys here, you can pretty much get anything with um, GP, which is I guess game points. I don't know, um, but that's cool. So I guess we're pretty much stuck with just the regular traditional dude. Um, all right, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and do a previous game or like a we're gonna do a quick join because you know what the hell. We probably should have done training. We probably should have done training, but whatever. Whatever. We're gonna We're gonna give this a shot. Oh god. I am not used to Alright, shift is to run. Like I said, I've never really played first person shooters before, so we're kinda working this together. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Double kill. Look at me go. Oh, Triple killing kill. spree right off the bat. Look at that, man. Sweet. Oh, man, I was not expecting I was expecting to, like, die right off the bat, but that didn't seem to happen, which is pretty promising for me, if I say so myself. Um, I think the last time I ever played a first-person shooter was Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. It's like an old-school first-person shooter game um, that... Really doesn't... Oh, shit, I'm a high threat now. Uh-uh. Oh, shit. Um, anyway, yeah, it's an, it's like a really old school game. Um, if you've played any Wolfensteins before, you'll know, you know, you've played... I'm sure you've played, you know... There, actually, there's a new Wolfenstein game out that just came out yesterday. 
that I am super, super excited to play, um, but I'm broke right now, so I can't really afford it. But definitely on my list of games to get over the next... Whoa! Oh, he's sniping. Did that thing just take off my head? That, like, took off my freaking head, but... Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Wolfenstein, so... Hopefully I'll be able to... What is this? Use Depot. What the hell? Oh, you can buy... Oh, you can buy a bunch of shit for... Cool. Apparently there's a hard suit, which I assume is like a giant, um, like, mecha suit. Um, that you'd see in, like, Titanfall, that kind of shit. Um, oh yeah, see, it's right there. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whee. Um, but yeah, this game, I love it because it's, you know, like I said, a different play style when it comes to games. Or not play style, but, like, it's set up differently. And, um... You know, it's, it's, they have a bunch of new, like, cool functions. Like, I know that there's a, an ability to, like, be able to see through walls or something like that. And people think it's gay, but I, the thing is, is everybody gets to use it. Um, wait, please select. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know what the hell was going on there. You know, um, it's, it's di different because, like, everyone can see through walls or something like that. So, it, it definitely, is a fair advantage in the sense that everyone gets it. It's not just, you know, one purse or anything like that. And it also has a time, or not a time limit, but a, like, there's a, damn it. <laughs> um, it's got like a, a meter, and once the meter runs out, it's out, you know. So, um, definitely liking this so far. Obviously, it'll take some time and dedication to fucking uh, get used to it, because I've never really played any first-person shooters. Um, no. Aw, oh, you fucker came up behind me. Oh, I should have known, because I think someone was shooting me. Oh, hard suit available. I said we buy the hard suit, just so we can try it out. Because, you know, what the hell. Let's buy the hard suit. we got to find a depot, though. Isn't there one? And, oh, what? you know what I just realized? What the fuck? This sniper, though, man. He's been blowing my head off. He's blowing my head off, like, three times in a row. Um... One thing I have realized about this game is that there's no map. Holy crap. I'm so used to maps. That's gonna really, like, throw me off. Is there, like, a crouch? Okay, control is to crouch. I'm gonna have to run this way, because I want to go get that, that hard suit, man. Come on, let's go. Alright, there's got to be some guys over here because I saw, oh, yep, there's a hard suit right there. I'm going to stay behind the hard suit. Wow! This dude! Um, but, uh, yeah, where was I? Oh, you know, so, and, and my thing is, is like, you know, playing Call of Duty and all that kind of shit. And don't go bashing Call of Duty just because you're like a Battlefield junkie, okay? I can't play Battlefield. No matter how much I try... I have never been able to deal through it, and it's quite sad, but it's just because I'm so used to Call of Duty, I think. Um. Ooh, thank you, buddy. I'm so used to Call of Duty that, like, anything different, anything other than... Oh, hi there. Wow! How the hell did I die? Oh, a frag grenade. Ha! <laughs> Um, you know, so my, my whole thing is, is that I am a Call of Duty baby. I've played Call of Duty ever since the original Modern Warfare. People always bash me for not playing the original Call of Duty. You know, the original, I think it was 1, 2, and 3. That didn't have an, any online modes or anything like that. And, uh, I never really played them because, I don't know, I was just never really into them until Modern Warfare came out with the first online mode. And then when that came out, I kind of went from there and, oh, I do have frag grenades. Headshot. Um, and then I really started getting into, you know, most Call of Duty games to where, ah, damn it. Um, you know, it was pretty, it, I got so into it, and then I tried Battlefield 3, and it just, kind of a turn off, quite frankly. I think that I'm just so used to how quick-paced, um, Call of Duty is, or at least it seems to me. 
and going into Battlefield, it just, it was weird. Not to mention, Battlefield freaking requires, um, what is it? Requires a uh, online pass, which I think, personally, is the stupidest thing in the world. Because, what if I buy the game used? Then I have to, I can't buy an online pass, or I have to go on separately and buy an online pass? Like, ridiculous. alright? Bitch, get off my territory. Get off my territory. Oh, they took my kill. I was gonna get him. I was gonna get him. Oh shit, we got 18 seconds left, but we're about to win this. I think it's been a a fun, a fun experience. This game's definitely pretty awesome. I, lo I love the customization um, that they implemented into the game. You know, like for each of your, for like your characters, you can change what they look like. You know, the type of gun you have, what you have on the gun. So, uh, yeah, fucking awesome. I definitely recommend checking this game out if you love first-person shooters. I was in third place. Hell yeah. Talk about a great first game, man. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I plan on doing more first pers first impressions as well as doing some more of these games. Um, and uh, I'm just going to keep the content rolling, guys. I'm going to try and get um, a video out every one to two days, so just look out for that. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can hit me up on Twitter, which is in the link below. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. So, again, you know, give it a thumbs up if you guys liked, and I will catch you all in the next video.